Hey y'all, welcome back to Brave Kids Art Club. Thank you guys so much for showing up. My name is Brad, and today we're gonna be drawing a really fun, really old animal. This animal's been around since dinosaur times. Older than crocodiles, older than snakes and alligators. This is really old. They love the water, but they also live on land. They lay eggs, they have shells. Okay, that's probably too many hands. You already know what it is. We are drawing a turtle today. And the cool thing about turtles is they got those rad shells on top that you can color whatever color you want or do whatever colors and patterns you want to do on there. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. So are you guys ready to draw? All right, let's get started. All right, let's get started with a nice clean sheet of paper. I'm going to get my pencil out because I like to do my sketching before I lay down my final lines in color. Then we are going to, like I said, bring out our pens for outlining. So a dark marker or a pen will work. And then uh, make sure you have an eraser, maybe on the back of your pencil or just a loose eraser. And then at the very end, we get to do some coloring. This is my favorite part. So again, you'll get to use whatever colors you want. Don't feel like you're obligated to use markers. It could be crayons. It could be paint. It could be whatever you want. All right, so let's start off with the shell. I'm just gonna do like a half a circle, a dome shape right here in the back. Okay, that's a pretty good dome shape, I would say. And uh, since it's gonna be just a half a circle, I'm gonna make a line that goes straight from the bottom here. Now we're gonna stylize this a little bit and make it look a little different. Um, but for now, this serves the right purpose. And it's a little bit further on this side so that you have some room for the head. All right, now that I have this, I'm actually gonna make the bottom a little rounded. Really light though, I'm gonna sketch really light because I'm gonna do something with this later. So let's get that right there. And then I'm gonna kinda do, loosely sketch where I want this head. It's gonna kinda have, they kinda got longer necks. Some of them do at least. They can kinda come out and eat their food. For the most part, they're herbivores, but I had a turtle that ate fish and it would actually hunt and swim really fast. They're actually really good swimmers and they would go under and it would, it would eat the fish out of there. We would feed it goldfish. It's kind of terrifying how well he, how well he hunted those fish. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna do a straight line out here and then I'm just gonna do a little curved line right here. You see how I'm doing that? A little curved line and it's gonna come back here and I might curve it up a little bit like that. You, you can do it everyone. You can do a straight line if you want the head just to go straight out. I'm gonna kind of curve it a little bit for that head. And maybe this even goes up a little bit more. Either way. Um, but right here, we're actually gonna, I'm gonna pull this in a little bit, just a little bit in from the shell because our shell is actually gonna start on his back right here, but it's gonna kind of go like this because we need to leave room for his little head and his arms, his front legs to pop out. Does that make sense? So we're gonna kinda go like that and this will kinda swoosh back, back here. So there's a lot of like connection points here with the neck and everything, but we're just gonna kind of avoid that by just doing this. Just putting the leg in front here. So we're gonna do that big leg right here. Like this. Does that seem easy enough? We're gonna put that big leg right there in front. And then we can add some little toes. They got, a lot of them have little claws. I'm being pretty generic because there's lots and lots of types of turtles and tortoises and all sorts of things like that. But uh, I'm gonna to try to draw kind of a generic turtle. This one looks a little bit like a box turtle and a red-eared slider turtle mixed up. I had a red-eared slider. You have to look those up. Those are pretty common, um, but they, they're the ones that kind of hunt and fish but I'm gonna draw little claws and they definitely have little claws. And in memory of my turtle, I'm gonna name this one Bayboat. I already know the name, Bayboat, B-E-B-O-T, because that was the name of my first turtle and uh, I gotta kinda pay tribute to that little guy. Okay, so I'm gonna give him a little feed. They're usually a little bit sharper. They have pretty sharp claws. And then let's see, what else? There's a little bit of the shell maybe coming out from underneath them underneath his head. Does that look good? Yeah, I like that. Okay, so this kind of comes back over here. Let's add that back leg. Now these ones, the I'm actually gonna add a little, little bit of a, I don't know, what do you call that? A little curve on the outside of this shell. That's just a little embellishment that I'm gonna add, a little detail that I wanna add, but you can do what you'd like to do on this. 
Uh, I'm going to do a little, little thing like that just to bring that up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, let's see, maybe from like right here, I'm going to have a little foot, a little foot in the back. There we go. So like a little L shape. Maybe make, maybe make those little toes there, little sharp claws. And then do like a little backwards C, a little curve right there, just to show, you go like this. There you go. Just to show where that back foot goes. That's probably the more accurate size that I want to do on the foot. This foot looks a little ginormous. And maybe you want big feet on yours. I don't think I want feet that big. Maybe this one still needs to be a little bit bigger. I can, I can always make that one bigger, but I want to make this one just a little bit smaller. I feel like these feet aren't that big. There we go. There, that makes me feel a little bit better. <laughs> Looks like they're a little closer related there. Make that bigger. So you might have to play around and make sure that the sizes match up. It's just, it just depends. And then I'm gonna have this kind of go right there, match up at the bottom. You can even add some up here if you'd like. I'm not going to. I think I like how it looks just like that. And then I'm gonna make this head, you know, I'm gonna actually add a little bit right here on the top and make that head even a little bit bigger. Just because these feet are kind of big, I wanna make sure that it kind of matches. So we got the two feet, we got the front foot, back foot, maybe the little tail would be the next thing we add. Just like a little, I got little tiny tails. Now I've picked up a snapping turtle. You ever heard of a snapping turtle? They're kind of scary. You pick, like, I would never recommend you pick one up. I actually picked one up because I didn't know how scary they were. And you picked it up and it would bite really fast and they can snap like tree branches. They're super strong. So their little mouth, they can crush things. And uh, they, the tail on that is what I was getting at. It's long and it feels kind of like a dinosaur tail, like a crocodile tail. It's got scales on it. It was the weirdest feeling, but it was a really heavy, big turtle. And uh, yeah, it kind of scared me. That thing was fast. So they got these big shells. So it makes it so you don't really need to run away from predators. They can kind of hide and most predators just don't want to get them because they have to work to get through that shell. They can even hide their head in there sometimes uh, to make sure that they're protected. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're, we're going along pretty quickly here. All right, so now we got to do the eye. Let's just do the one eye because we're looking from the side view. I'm going to put it right up here towards the front. I'm going to make it pretty big. Pretty big eye. I'm going to have him trying to, maybe I can have him looking at me with the big pupil in the middle. Have him looking towards me. And I'm going to give him just a little tiny smile. There we go. A little tiny smile and a little nostril. So they do have little nostrils and yeah, they can hold their breath for a really long time underwater. All right, what do we have next? Maybe we can bring this down a little bit. Maybe that's too far up. We can erase some of these extra lines. A lot of times we get some extra lines in the way and if we can just get rid of those, then we're not, we're not make sure we're not gonna color them in with our final marker. All right, so I'm gonna add like a little bit of details to this shell. Now that I have most all of his body parts, maybe I'll add that little, that's why they call those ones red-eared slider turtles because they have these little red ears it looks like a little red spot right behind their ear so mine's going to be kind of a red-eared slider turtle like i said to honor my late bay boat now the shell is my favorite part this is the part where you can go wild with different patterns different colors whatever you'd like to do you go crazy right here this is like your time to shine and ease your creativity now i'm going to do something right here and you can follow along that's totally fine too um but Think of some other things. Maybe it, maybe it looks like a soccer ball because it kind of does look like a soccer ball, the shapes. The one I'm doing at least is going to kind of have that, that little pattern to it. I mean, I'm not going to draw it like a soccer ball. Maybe yours is. <laughs> but I'm going to draw these little lines right here because what I'm going to try to do is it helps me if I have these little lines because then I'm going to do like a little like a wavy pattern, but it helps me keep the shape if I already have the arc and I have the lines. So now I'm going to kind of go like this. And I'm gonna kind of have it, I don't know, is that called scalloped? I'm not sure what you call that. I'm gonna call it wavy. I'm gonna have that wavy bottom of his shell. There we go. And then this part can just kind of go. I don't need to do it all the way up there. See, do you like that? I kind of like that look. Makes it look a little more unique. And then I'm gonna add a line right here that's gonna kind of follow the shape of my turtle shell all the way up there. And then I'll just connect these up here, there we go. 
Oh boy, I'm getting excited because I can't wait to color this guy in. All right, so now I'm gonna draw some other little patterns maybe up at the top of here. Maybe like a little zigzag. And then we'll connect all the lines afterwards. So let's do a little zigzag right there. Do maybe another little zigzag to match it right here on the top. There you go. Maybe I'll pull that, that zigzag all the way to the top like that. Oh, almost dropped my pencil again. I keep doing that. Okay. Uh, good. Yeah, we can kind of test it out. Now we just kind of connect it. Kind of like a soccer ball. <laughs> like I said, it does kind of look like a soccer ball. And then I'm going to do connect it just to like every other line here. There we go. Now it doesn't have to match exactly. Their backs are kind of fun and their shells are kind of interesting. Now a common myth is that turtles can pop out of their shell and they can outgrow their shell or whatever. In cartoons we see that all the time. They have their shells either they go inside and it's like their house or they take it off like it's a pair of clothing. No. It's actually part of their skeleton. That shell is part of their skeleton so they can't take it off. They'll grow, it'll grow with them. And yeah, so I thought that was pretty interesting. They do not, they are not able to take that off. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're pretty good. Maybe, I, I mean, I could always add little details. Like, I like always adding those little knee lines, but that's just me. I think he's looking pretty good. Now, if you're comfortable with your sketch, you need to grab your marker or your pen and let's get outlining. We're gonna outline this quick because I want to get to color. Color is gonna be so much fun on this guy. Have you already thought about what color you're gonna use? When I say color, I mean colors. Who am I kidding? We're not gonna use just one color. Speaking of colors, turtles love colors actually. So not only can they see colors, but they actually have colors that they like more than others. For example, they like reds and pinks and I think yellows, which I thought was kind of cool. They actually have preferences with colors. Okay, so I got his head there. I'm gonna give him his little smile. There we go. His little nostril. That's kind of a wonky nostril. That's all right. I meant to do it that way. And let's draw a circle. Oh man, the circles. I forgot I got so close to these bindings right here. It's gonna be kind of difficult. Got to be really careful. Circles are my least favorite thing to draw. Ooh. Although I've been doing these long enough that I feel like I'm getting pretty good at them by now. I better knock on wood right now. I'm going to draw that pupil in there. Now I'm coloring in the pupil. You don't have to. There you go. That looks pretty good. Maybe I'll do, yeah, I'll probably just do this oval right here for that red ear that I'm going to put on there. And then let's do those legs. There we go. Oh, it's a little bit, a little bit overlapping. That doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. As much as we want things to be perfect, they rarely are, and that's okay. I'm actually glad things aren't perfect because then it'd be really hard to draw things. Because <laughs> I think I would never get it right. But turtles come in all different sizes and shapes and colors and patterns that I think you're okay with however you're going to draw yours. As long as you got the shell there, it's going to look like a turtle. Okay, let's draw that. Let's draw the rest of this shell on here now that we, we have that. And then we can kind of fill in right there where those gaps are. Like that. Okay, let's do the underbelly here. A lot of times they have like a lighter color on their bottom of their shell than on the top of their shell. So I might probably do that one a lighter color. All right, let's do that cute little tail in the back. And have it meet up with that one so it has, kind of feels like it has a home. A little match right there at the corner. And then let's do that pattern on the back. I'm actually going to, now that I'm looking, I'm gonna probably make this a little bit bigger. It's a little bit higher. I feel like there's a lot of space to color in. There we go. Yeah, I like that better. And then I'm gonna draw my lines just from the little points right here. The peaks of the waves. We're gonna draw lines to connect it to this one right here. 
cool. It's looking good. And then let's draw our zigzag soccer ball pattern on the top. <laughs> There we go. Draw this one up to the top, back down, over. Man, did you know that turtles, like I said, live for a really long time, but I mean, like they live like over a hundred years old. So if you had a pet turtle, you better be ready to live with that thing for a really long time or take care of it. Maybe your entire life or longer. You better pass this on to your grandkids. Um, yeah, because they live a very, very long time. All right, so I think I'm done. Maybe I'll add little spots for his little knees right there. Just for fun. And now I am ready to erase. So make sure yeah, you get your eraser out. Get rid of all this under sketch right here. And then once we're done with that sketching, go straight into color. Now I'm gonna jump right into mine and do my thing, but uh, I'm really excited to see what you guys do with not only the pattern that you've done in your shell, but the color too. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. When you're done, make sure that your parents uh, share it on Instagram. If you just tag us at Brave Kids Art Club, that way I can see it. I would love to see what you're making and other people can see it too, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna get erasing then coloring and we'll catch up at the end. There we go. Our turtle is all colored in. Bayboat is ready to go. I'm loving his paint job. Cool, how did yours turn out? Are you proud of how yours turned out? Good, 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 good. Well, if we're proud of our artwork, what do we do? That's right, we gotta sign our name here at the bottom so everybody knows that this is our piece of art. This is our drawing. Cool. Well, thank you guys again so much for sitting here and drawing with me today. This has been a whole lot of fun and you can do this every single day, Monday through Friday. I'll be doing new live drawing classes for you to join. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop it a like and subscribe because I'll be doing lots of videos just like these. And as always, be brave, be creative, and most importantly, be you. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next time.